Conjure gets along very well with Leopard and Snow Leopard. Conjure lets you customize spaces. Just clone any desktop window, activate spaces, and drag your window to the next space. Now that you're on this different desktop, you can customize this one to your liking, or you can move it to a different desktop in Conjure. And now when you're working on your separate projects, when you go back to Spaces Overview, you'll see the different spaces customized. You can do this for any number of spaces and any number of desktops. The next thing that Conjure does is it lets you use quartz compositions as desktop backdrops. This is possible in Mac OS X, but it's only possible through a hack. Conjure lets you do this natively by creating its own backing store for every quartz composition you use. This allows you to more efficiently use the resources on your computer, and you can determine when you want to turn them on and off. In this case, I've got several disks sitting on my desktop with a quartz composition running in the background. Conjure also natively supports Mac OS X entries in your address book, so any people you might have listed can become entries on your desktop. Simply drag them down there and then double click them to either open them again in the address book or you can send them an email, start a text chat with them, or find them on a map using Google Maps. And lastly, Conjure now supports MobileMe. You can store your desktop directly on your MobileMe iDisk and have instant access to your entire desktop no matter where you are in the world.